Hey everybody, Asher here with some more Renowned Explorers. Today we are doing a post commentary because for whatever reason when I did this video, when I ran this video, the audio just decided to flick off. I'm not even sure what it is. Software updates are fun. Anyway, what we're looking at here, just like I said, this is post commentary. It's me talking a little bit about the surprise that I had at the end of the last video, which is in fact the revised tech tree. This was updated between one of the previous runs I made and one of the other ones. And, well, let me put it this way. It's been a little while since I've recorded. Stuff has been very crazy. I'll get into that in another video at some point. For now, we're just going to try and stick with the post commentary. But I am talking a little bit here, at least from if memory serves, about some of the potential synergies, such as getting secret tokens and getting extra bonuses for that. Which would all be well and good, but right now my party is not very good at getting a lot of research. So I'm not sure exactly how far we'll go into that. I do want to get things that get more supplies. I do want to get things that get more resolve. I do want to go into engineering so I can at least get one tool. Because what the developers try to do, at least what they stated that they were trying to do, is we're going to go ahead and probably click you some research here in a second, is that they want to have it not have such clear cut. You must get X, Y, and Z techs. But this is not a very science-based run. This is more of a gold and status-based run or yellow and green, as it were. So maybe one day I'll click on some of the research. There we go, so extra supplies. Gonna try and get some insight as well, and I could try and do some other jobs to get some more things here. If I get the finisher, I can get some more renown, which is good for a final score standpoint, but getting a tool from engineering might be more important. Interesting that there's not nearly as many tools on the tech tree. Also interesting that now while doing post-commentary, all this time I've been doing work all day. Dogs do nothing. Now it's like, let's eat in the background. Oh well, we're going. So the other thing that, uh, and you're gonna see a recurring theme with this as we go through. I did opt for uh, the Turkish baths as my first location here, but I'm not super thrilled about the specialist that I got here. And I think part of it is just because my goal, this, like I said, this run feels like something where I'm not going for so much research, going for more uh, gold or status. And right now there's not really a lot of either. However, they did update the stores to where you do upgrade it with gold now instead of status, which makes sense. So there are some items to be gotten here. I'm going to probably, I think it's this video. Fortunately, this is the only video where the audio screwed up. I caught it once it was done. Of course, you can see the length of this video. It's a little annoying to have to do a post commentary when I've already slipped on posting some videos here lately. But real life happens, as I know you all understand. Regardless, excuse me. I'm just going through some of the different characters that we do here. We have Harry, we have uh, Bia, and Charles. And they did change some of their barrels as well, such as once they level up high enough, you will get additional trinket slots. And trinkets are very good, very important, although I'm not going to be doing as much with them here. But that extra trinket slot can be really nice if you can get people to actually increase their level a little bit. So what's it going to be, guys? Harry, Bia, Charles. I'm sure I had something insightful to say. This lead-up takes quite a bit of time as well. So one compass for Charles. That's to give him level 3. Well, he is level 3. But to synergize with his abilities from before. And I guess, since this is the more interesting point to talk about it, because I'm sure, especially with the way my microphone's pointing right now, I'm sure you can hear my dog eating in the background. I fed them... 14 hours ago, I put this food out. Now, now, just like, let's eat. Okay, not 14 hours ago. We're like 12. But still, it's, that's the way it goes. So upgrading some books. Upgrading some punchy punch gloves for punchy punchy characters here. Bia just hits hard all the time. Her Getting her upgraded sack power is really good. Charles is a little bit of a fence sitter in a way. Because he's, he's okay at a actually damaging people with his aggressive attacks but he's just as good he kind of splits the fence between whether you want to do speech or regular old attack power so only 16 gold left still not super pleased with the uh, specialist that i have available so far so i do like to upgrade and unlock i'm just looking for something that'll either teach some abilities or technique challenges which my group is not very well suited for nature challenges my group is kind of well suited for so just not very happy. Spoiler alert, there's going to be some pretty serious misclicks. I'm not sure if it's here a little bit later, just in terms of getting everybody together. Because if I can... Getting one collect token or one campaign token are all nice and good. 
and you do actually get some perks there as well. But you can only select one specialist per tier now. It used to be you could double up or triple up, I think so. That's going to trip me up a little bit. We have Pepe the Destroyer, of course, uh, Vasilsa, which I'm not pronouncing correctly, and the Professor as well. So just trying to think about different ways I want to upgrade my team. Like I said, this is a this is kind of a long lead-up intro just to get into the actual mission itself, but I promise we are almost there. But you can see we're going to get Charles to learn an engineer perk just so that he can be an even better scientist. It's funny, that's not how he started out, but that's how he ended up. Unfortunately, because he is not a blue character or a science character, we're not necessarily going to get a lot from him. And unfortunately, because of the team that I'm selected, I'm not going to get a lot from any of these lectures in London as well, or any of these jobs, so that is a little bit... No, I don't know. You, I, like I said previously, I was trying to take a team that sort of the CPU recommended, but it's not it's hardly min-maxing. My goal is to do a complete playthrough, though, which means we're on to the third mission for the first time on this channel. Uh, and that means there are three-star missions available. I do have 11... Uh, breads there and I'm gonna be doing the highlands for this one a tactician is good diplomats good we don't have a diplomat we do have engineer at some point is now my other dog is deciding to also eat. I don't know if it's just like lunchtime when they hear the sound of my voice they do the same thing when I'm on conference calls too uh, my my cat who is still around it's been over a month now has been fantastic meowing into speakers when I do uh, conference calls and pe most people know that I work out of the same office too but some of them don't and we're gonna be going to the highlands anyway all right like I said post commentary here I'm gonna be trying to read as best I can the abbess of the abbey has been paranoid due to all the explorers and thieves knock knock knocking on her door looking for treasure but that won't stop you from doing the exact same thing so there's the abbey now being friendly is good and as I think I mentioned in the previous video there are some paths and everything that are gonna start to cost two or zero so sometimes it's better to take the path of least resistance if it's going to cost just as much anyway so we're going to go down to this area and see multiple paths on the rock one route seems particularly tough and you can get additional armor which Bia who's looking crazed gets additional armor good for her and we get a few study tokens as well because that's exciting now you get here in this small mountain road and a panic stricken shepherd approaches you to try to speak Let's listen to her. Once she catches breath, she says, I lost a large part of my flock. Can't find them anywhere. I don't know. Quickly, might get lost, stolen, or eaten by the animals. Can you please help me find them? I'll reward you. So we can search for the sheep, and it's going to possibly take supplies. And it's going to take supplies no matter what. We can gain supplies, or we can lose supplies. We're just going to roll it anyway. And we actually succeed. First time through on the Wheel of Fortune. And look, she turns into a wolf. That's not really true. But you find a wolf. What a place for such a what a weird place for such a breed the wolf looks hungry and annoyed by your presence so we're going to start a uh, encounter here so fun times one wolf we can get a study token for finishing aggressively that's from one of our followers that we got uh one of our specialists and there's a wolf nothing super exciting about this wolf it's just aggressive and they have some resistance to sadness because they're wolves and it's just one, not, nothing particularly special. This is like the. This doesn't really come off as a three star encounter to me. So, all I'm going to try and do, and this is something that I've been trying to do a little better in this game, but still is a point of learning for me, is just being able to uh, position my team better, use choke points better, and everything. So, all right, what do we want to do here? I do have an aggressive tenor on my campaign right now. And we just gonna gonna bring our gun. That's the thing that always gets me. There's the whole history channel, all that stuff too. It's like, yeah, let's bring a gun. If you bring a gun to a knife fight, it's not a knife fight anymore. It's a massacre. But Bia would have it no other way. She slashes with her sword. Wolf put down. I really didn't think I put out that much food. Oh my lord. All right, lots of tokens. See, you get collect tokens, study tokens, everything else. And we get the herd back to her. And we have all technicians in the crew, too. So that's a happy, happy looking sheep. Everybody's happy. We get half her earnings as well. So seven collect. Very, very good here. But we do have a bonus for plunder study whenever an engineer succeeds. So that's worth putting Charles on the wheel here. 
I'm just checking my treasures. We have a lot of treasures, and some of these have permanent effects for things that happen each time, such as one collect per technique challenge. But I don't really have good archaeologist things like that, so... I do want to try and get as many encounters as possible, but I don't really want to use two supply to get to that encounter when there may be some better stuff in the Fog of War. So I'm going to be going to the Fog of War. A village is in dire need of help. Hello there, your explorers look mighty strong. We are being raided by bandits. Fully trained these peasants. Or we might even reward you with treasure. So it's going to cost supplies. <coughs> two supplies, but I have 100% shot. Which is great, because we can get a treasure as well, which is very exciting. And on top of that, I did just see, if you noticed on the map immediately before this event, it revealed that there is an area that would have potentially more supplies to be gotten. So we get a treasure, and we get a lot of campaign. 75, and we get lots of golden status from encounter tokens as well, or additional bonus. So that's pretty good. Might as well go here just because practical resources and a zero drop here so two additional supplies we have six now it's nice when all these tokens just stack up so well no reason to go to the other place immediately and here is a big fort oh look you found a hidden hoard of the ex uh, of this expedition this is something else that is new I believe on the patch in every expedition there's a hidden hoard to be found on these occasions fate smiles upon you, you get gold discovery or secret and I'm sort of like ah secret token they do exist they're supposed to be secret so opt for the treasure hunt because I'm just trying to amass as much wealth as possible. And I think it's time to go to, well there's different options here. There's a castle and yeah we're just going to go to it. Now in the distance you spot an old castle everyone is drenched in bone. Because the rain and yearns for comfort you decide to approach. You hear someone unlocking the small people on the wooden door. Greetings travelers what is it you need? You don't let anyone in. You must prove yourself by arm wrestling or in battle. So we can do arm wrestling or battle. I have a feeling because we don't have an athlete that we should probably just do battle. Especially since my team does pretty good with conflict in of itself. So there we go. Let's see what you got, mate. Show your worth. Okay, you know how long this video has been going on at this point. It's, I guess my dogs are just browsing their food as loudly and as slowly as possible. But I can't really stop this or I'll like desync all of my recording and everything won't work very well. So three Highlanders standing in a row. I don't think I can one shot them with my AOE abilities, although they have a, I have a perfect piercing shot lined up. Problem is if I go aggressive that can make a pretty nasty debuff, but we go for it anyway. And aggressive, minus 30 speech defense. Hopefully I, hopefully I don't get myself killed with speech. Alright, so Deride can take one of them out. I don't know if I can get off of the minus 30 speech defense by the time this is said and done. And I've noticed a few times since the patch that stuff adjusts. And I only, that doesn't, I don't actually have range to hit anybody here. Other than impressing. Can't reach. Alright, and all I'm trying to do here is get rid of the speech defense debuff. So, see if I can at least excite somebody a little bit, which does decrease their speech defense, but... No, I just elect to not do anything. That's weird. But see, sometimes the wheel does change, and I'm not sure why. It goes from uh, bad abilities to good abilities. And I'm not exactly sure what that's all about, or when that's all about, or why that's all about. We just know that that's where we are at right now. Otherwise, uh, this fight should be fairly straightforward. Pew pew. The Highlanders, they do have very high defenses. And I'm just electing to aggressive them out. I'm sure there's a valid reason, something to do with if you're devious to them, they can get kind of mad or upset or scared. The other reason is because if I end the battle aggressively, I do get additional bonuses. Every time, every time I finish aggressive, I get a study token. Every little bit of research counts, especially when research is not going to be the numero uno thing that I can get here. So should be able to knock this guy out. With a gun, again. Because you know, shooting somebody is a great way to get them to help you later. Let's enjoy the music here a little bit. The nice uppercut by our butler. I'm sure that's why he's no longer a butler. So it's here. We stab somebody. We shoot somebody. 
Surely they will want to be our friend and help them out, help us out now, right? Oh, there we go. You dominated the opponents. All right. The Highlanders are amazed by the way you handle the situation. Do come in and tell us about yourself, really. Okay. They give a tour of the castle. A whole load of friendly Highlanders are gathered here. After dinner with Lamb and Germain, you decide to sleep. And then we continue. The beds are comfortable and warm. You fall asleep right away. But then in the middle of the night, a strange noise wakes you. A sound of people getting ready for battle. Everyone is dressed. You rush downstairs to see what's happening. You spot a door, certain that the sound is coming from behind the door. We can open it, or we can sneak out. We elect to open the door, and the high leader of the Highlanders is paying everyone with war paint. The doorman meets you and asks you to come in. So, since you have proofs you're strong, why don't you join us in the war dance? We'll call it to our ancestor who died in battle and give us strength and courage. So we can gain athlete tough, we can get some supplies, or we can steal war paint because Harry's an asshole. I mean, that's why he has a. That's why he has three pieces of flair on his jacket, right? So thinking about all these, I like to steal the war paint because I don't really know what that does versus not having an athlete perk. So we get the end of the event and we get war paint, which is a four speech power plus fifteen speech defense. I was hoping war paint was an artifact. I guess I should have known. And they, I guess they don't care that we just stole their war paint. So. Good old Harry Walker. Much better than a rested ring, at least. Plus, it plays into his glass cannon this pretty well, because he can speech his way out even more things. And do I level him up here yet, or do I not realize that's what needs to happen? There we go. So, big blast. Or penetrating shot. Penetrating shot can be good. Uh, trinket slot's really nice for the level, though. So we're not going to go for penetrating shot, which is... Eh, okay. And then on the other hand, random blades, normal uh, double attack, or get one collect token when finishing aggressive here. And some of these uh, have changed a little bit too, but uh, I think random blades is just that extra, literally 50% increased melee damage is just really good for what she does. All right. Where are we going through the areas we can get more money, we can possibly do a technique challenge. Which once again my skills don't really mesh up with that very well, so. Four supplies for one resolve. Not awesome, but we can do it once. So there's another event up here, it takes two to get to, and it is possible encounter, possible treasure. And look! There's sheep huddled against a mountain wall, we can examine closer. And clickety click. You're now standing beside a big flop of sheep. Flop. I made that same mistake when I was recording. They do not seem to notice you're at the s staring at a point or wall. You make your way through the sheep to discover a small cave. You squeeze through the opening and we go towards the light. You squeeze and push into a small opening where a beam is coming from a ceiling shining on a grave. We can take this valuable looking staff that's on the wall. We can examine the interesting looking grave or take notes. And look, you examine the treasure and we can put it away somewhere. We gain an item. The Shepherd's Crown. Gain one campaign for every encounter you resolve. Friendly. You notice the sheep start bleeding. Some even start huffing frantically. We can look at the interesting looking grave. Here lies Pete Shepherd, who love of sheep was greater than that of his family. Some said he could sulk the sheep. Some say he was part sheep. We laid him here where he called home. Together his final words, on to the big flock. So we can remember the name Pete Shepherd, and we get a little bit of collect. More sheep start bleeding. They're charging now. Yay! Sheep attack! Da -na 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 -na. Look at all those little sheep. I mean, they're just sitting there having a good time with their grass. Only 20 spirit. I think this is going to get ugly in a hurry. Because I can attack in a cone and kill one of them. So if I move to the right place, I can actually take every single one of them out. Is this really going to be the one shot that we hope for? The one shot that we need? Yes! All the sheep! We are brutal and we are also victorious. So another study token, a few more encounter tokens. All good! I guess those sheep shouldn't have gotten in the way. So you can feel the tension growing. We can, we can leave or we can tempt fate. The more you stay here, the angrier the sheep get. And then here's a translation. Yes, ba, no, ba, maybe ba. It looks like language depends on pronunciation. So we get two study and question marks. 
And a big group of sheep are coming there. They're not happy, but we rescued you before. Don't be so mad. All right, now we have special sheep. Big boss sheep. These sheep get stronger when their buddies are gone. Or, now my question here is, do I just take out the little sheep anyway? Because with the positioning the way it is right now, I can possibly take out another one here. I can possibly, okay, not enough range to damage everybody. All right. So we've gone to being brutal, which is okay enough. Now the question is, can I actually take out one of the friendly sheep that are over there, or are we just going to have... I mean, they don't have a lot of spirit either. These guys are not that hard. So we can see if good old Charles wants to be in charge of taking damage, or I can just deride one of the sheep. Oh, you taunted the sheep, and it becomes enraged and loses it by running off. So we got one more. I could just attack. Alright. And we get to see Bia's special ability for the first time. Very happy about that. Not much else to do other than end the turn, though. So what do we got? Baba. Happy face. So, that's interesting that it just tried to smile at me. But that's Renowned Explorers for you, right? So one more attack. He's... He's supposedly stronger. It's interesting, he got attack power, that's not speech power. So the game actually elected to have him not use his buff. Yeah, that's how it goes. So another study token. Here he gets the uh, aggressive buff, which is okay. And here we go. There's a lot of tension, that was a big flop. flop. I can't talk, I can't talk ever. Ugh. Okay, you say a small prayer for Pete and then carry on. So we have six supply left. We should be able to get to the Abbey in time. I hope, maybe. So another unexplored area with another encounter. This is a good, this is a really good zone. You can tell by the number of encounters we have and we have not even gone that far. And so, Cruz walking through his lax face and you go, woo, woo, whoosh. I am Judge Druid, face me so I can judge your worth. Okay. So, what is Judge Druid going to say today? All right, aggressive or friendly. He just doesn't want us to be devious. He doesn't want us to be rude. So how we finish this does matter. So first question is, okay, you can't take out the sheep. You can take out those three sheep. And I have to defeat all of the enemies, not just some of the enemies. So we can just go ahead and take you guys on. And we'll get to be brutal again, but that's okay. Now I could try and take on these guys. And it's a matter of being friendly or being aggressive. We do get rewards for either. But do I uppercut a sheep? Do I cut a sheep? I cut a sheep. Like I said, this is post-commentary. And it is a little weird because I know what happens, but I don't necessarily remember how what happens other than I just blocked my own way. Good job. All right. Can actually try and attract the attention here. What I'm trying to do with that little frowny face means is that this ability kind of, is, kind of acts like a taunt. So I'm trying to get him to attack me. Of course, if he can't reach me, that doesn't do a lot of good. And once again, I'm not entirely sure why the mood changed there. That's something that's with the new patch. How that happens is, wow. We're how far in and now my other dog's like, I want to eat some more. Should just name this video like dog eating simulator which of course it is uh, steam sale time now and you could get a domestic dog simulator for like two bucks but we could just deride one of the sheep because I know that's what a lot of people love doing uh, could possibly take out Charles in charge here the question is do I want to be friendly I just don't want to end the fight in a devious tone as strong as my devious attacks can be here Plus, B is a little hurt. Alright, now I can't... Wow, I can take him out halfway. So I could have not entirely ended the fight. And because he didn't die, we haven't actually flipped out yet. Alright. 
So can I get aggressive by the time this is all said and done? So now we flipped it to Devious. He thinks I'm rude. We get Grit. And she can't actually heal herself. So we'll see if we can finish this up here. Friendly abilities have 25% power. That's not very friendly. That's a sheep sticking its tongue out saying meh meh. And that's a sheep. Missing. All misses are fumbles apparently. Question is, is I'm going to be nice or not so nice? That's a good uppercut, Charles. Pip pip cheerio. And then should be able to finish this. Like I said, hopefully it finishes as aggressive instead of devious. So one slice was enough. I mean, most all of my attacks were aggressive. Most of my kills. And we finish aggressive. Judge thinks we're strong. Well, that's nice. Getting all these successful encounters does help. So, ooh, you're deemed strong. You are deserve tribute for your work. This is the most sensible thing you, most sensible person you've ever knocked down. We get five collect, and just like that, the druid disappears. That was a curious figure. So he wanted to get beat up, and now we get like a zillion collect tokens. Okay, getting towards the abbey. And I appreciate you all sticking with me, despite the uh, technological snafus. It, it's just, like I said, frustrating, because you test things, it works. You test things, it works. Things work okay. And then suddenly, for some reason, your recording software elects to actually change options without even going in there so we are at two supply and there's five highlanders they look really down approach the group these young men want to learn about their culture and their heritage but are able to decipher the scriptures now we can lecture them or we can study the scriptures or we can make up lies that's interesting because they want to learn all about the things so we can make up lies, or we can study scriptures, and this will increase our chance of success each time we do it. Five Highlanders await. They're all kind of they're smiling, but they're down. Okay, so while you're busy, Highlander became impatient and left. Well, whatever. Four Highlanders await your lecture. We have a 31% chance of success. Okay, you spend time studying the inscriptions while you're busy. Another Highlander left. Now, do we study the scriptures or do we make up more lies? Making up lies, of course, has a better chance of success. We do have a two-thirds chance. Probably about as good as any before we start losing people here. All right, so the Highlanders are very enthralled. And note that that's not tokens. That's stuff that actually went to our top bar. But they also gave us a treasure, the Highlander Brooch, which gives us campaign tokens and renown. So that's a lot of treasure this time. We haven't even gotten to the end. Uh, and I know you just told us it was a bunch of baloney. I can appreciate the efforts, so though. Skills like that are going to help get you places. So extra campaign. Just for BSing. See, BSing wins sometimes. Now we have one more jump or walk that we can do before we get over there. So it may be a good idea to do that. Okay, so we get some analyzing the marks from the unknown description of the cliff. So one little study token. Even these blank places will give you things from time to time. But I'm pretty sure it's time for the Abbey, and we've had a lot of encounters here, so we are well ready to go. The only issue is going in aggressive doesn't necessarily suit us well in this fight. So we can say onwards, the mysterious treasure is waiting to be explored. The Abbey is well fortified. And Charles even sees a uh, identified cloth that looks like it belongs to Rivalo. Harry decides to knock the massive door of the Abbey. Dot, dot, dot. You hear her voice at the Abbey's on the other side, go away, I know what you're after. Well, since she isn't opening up. We can try and talk your way in, burst in, or sneak in. This is the kind of events where you can think about what you want to do and see which one has the most possibility of success. We don't want to lose resolve. So we're going to try and do the one that is the most possible to succeed, which bursting in doesn't seem to be the best bet. We can also sneak in. And fortunately, Harry's a bastard, and we can sneak him in because he's a rogue. So let's do that. Oh, with Harry sneaking, you find a way in while the abbess is looking and peeps see if you're really gone. You have a chance to surprise her in your own style. So we can be friendly, please listen to us, hand her the relic, you'll tart, or we can do a sneak attack. Now, this will influence, instead of like, no mood and we start it with the first attack, it presets it, except for the, uh... <sighs> except for the last one, which sneak attack, which debuffs friendly stuff, which I don't really want to do on this encounter here. 
because she's just she's just someone that wants to be she wants to be loved I guess you could say I don't know for sure all right make the abbess give your treasure it doesn't really matter how we end this fight and you can already see a bunch of people wielding sticks all around us now here's here's the rub in a way is that we she has a lot of abs abs additional people but here's the thing uh, faith gives 50 percent her speech defense her condemnation is extra strong when you're aggressive so watch out don't hit her when she prays speech defense will only increase so it's nice that we get a little bit of summaries there that means that I can possibly try and do stuff to be aggressive a little early but you gotta watch it could be a good time to get on the other side of the map but you know what instead of actually going the aggressive route I'm just gonna try and be friendly this fight because one nice thing that my team does have is the ability to be friendly unfortunately I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna be able to take her out so something something mustache I don't know why that's impressive or if he's like free mustache oh, I can't even say that out loud without like getting a little mm, joke about mustache rides and stuff that's inappropriate yeah it is inappropriate so is a lot of stuff in this game all right, now she is just confused. All the mixed signals, so she just runs off. Now we do have a lot of speech defense. It's definitely a good start. Oh, I don't know where that came from. I am so sorry. That's what I get for being totally sleep deprived for so long. But we do have a bunch of people coming after us. There's the nun. She's very excited. There's a cat who's probably gonna start eating food really loud too, as is tradition. Going after Charles, talking about his soiled undergarments. Yep, there we go. Everybody is just coming in to say their own thing. Bia getting hit. And not much else. Now we do have people lined up pretty nicely in a row. I could shoot them. Yeah, might as well. I mean, that's, that's three for one. If we can just make all of them come over here. Should be able to get out of the aggressive mood before things are there, especially when the speech defense is lower. So she doesn't like my attitude. Nope. And you can see those old defense icons up above her. It's unfortunate I can't stop and actually show it to you. Uh, because that some that's, some attacks are going to be stronger against her than others. Unfortunately, I don't have any excite attacks right now. But the big thing is I just don't want to get hit. So really crappy healing and a little bit better healing. Problem is that the little stars in the eyes being excited is also a speech defense decrease for me. But maybe, just maybe, I can get us in a better position here in just a minute. Alright, so everybody's a little shaky. We still have our debuffs here. Hmm. The best solution here, even though, let's see here, the nun is still going up top. I could try and take out one of the people on the bottom. I would have to get, I would need to take two hits of devious ability to get back to something where there's like grit. So can we do it? Or if I elect to use Harry, oh no, actually, just going to fall down no matter what. That stinks. Because, <laughs> excuse me, I guess it doesn't stink that badly. Just gonna run away from her nunniness. So there we go. She's not praying. We got one other person over here. She is going to scold. That's a lot of damage. Like I said, because she's excited. Some characters, as we've seen in prior videos, do actually have direct heals that they can cast on people. This character, or this slate of characters, not so much. Alright, so we annoyed them to kingdom come. Numb becomes enraged and loses it, and now we have the last person. Well, almost the last person. I can see on the far left of the screen, because this is a post-commentary, two more nuns that are possibly coming, but I think in my live commentary, in my actual play, I don't see them until it's too late. So here comes her nunniness, and here comes her friends. And they're just going to smile. Well, it's like her picture's smiling, but she's looking very angry. But once again, you poopied your pants. Good job, Harry. You still poopied your pants. 
What level of mature gameplay are we having in this game today? Now, I could potentially use focus as an ability here, but... Let's see her. None. She is completely immune to enrage abilities here, which is what the icon there means. So I can't actually enrage her. I can possibly terrify her. It doesn't matter how I end this fight. But it's probably going to take two turns for me to end it. So if I can just kind of unload for two turns and hope she doesn't AoE, I'm pretty sure she has one. Let's see, Deride. Group Insult would be good at least for a debuff. Even though she's immune to it, so I'm not sure if the debuff's really going to be there. The other side of the coin is being aggressive. It looks like if we just try and impress her all to hell. She may be a little bit of a better place, so happy, happy. Very impressed. We're all very excited now. Unnoticeable attack, which does not get the double attack. Alright, so 80% chance to hit would be a terrible time to miss. Anytime's a terrible time to miss in this game. I find, at least the way I've been doing combat, there's some pretty close margins of victory versus defeat. So a noticeable attack does more damage. Yay. And I don't know what in the world's going on in the other room, but everything is falling apart. Which is okay, because we have just a few more minutes of this video. Can we make it? I don't know. Actually misses with her crucifix. What kind of nun are you? Charles, who has good speech defense, is not worried about his poopy pants. And uh, that's probably going to be the end of the encounter here. So trying to finish as friendly or aggressive. Hopefully we can get the friendly mode in time here. So that should flip it over. We're friendly, we're persuasive, and we get the doves. So one extra campaign, we're all very happy. Yay! So maybe you're right, the treasure does not belong here. It should be out there in the world so everyone can see. So she hands over the treasure. Thank you, lady. Now we can get... Uh, Low chance of Lewis's Chessman, or there's Columbus Staff, or we'll just get Lewis Chessman. I'm not even sure what that's a reference to, but a Nork set of chess pieces made of Walrus Ivy and a Whale Tooth, plus 10 gold from Collect Token. So that's going to give us a ton of gold for all this. So the treasure in hand, the crew leaves the Abbey, and the expedition is a great success. You can't wait to prepare for your next one. Back to London, so the Highlands are complete. And I find that if I talk through missions like this and recording, it tends to take 30 to 40 minutes. And I think that's a better way to split up the videos than just trying to split it up mid-mission unless weird stuff happens. But let's see. I think we're about at a cutting off point here. We are going to go a little bit into the next town. So if we're looking at how much gold, that's four treasures. That is four actual treasures with so much renown. That's a, that's a sign of a really good mission. And we are at 1,000 exactly. I've never had that happen. Why don't we win the tiebreaker? I don't know why uh, Turgut Tahir is not winning the tiebreaker. We're a tyrant tycoon, tycoon because we've been aggressive. And we can get a new place at Timbuktu, Sydney, New Orleans. We don't have a lot that we can do with jobs. We can get equipment shops at one of these two places. There is a talent under engineering that will unlock both. But I don't think I'm going to get enough research to get there. So Sydney has some very good equipment that can synergize very well with what else we have. You just got to actually get there. So there's someone saying, good day, mate. Tell us about your uh, show. And here we go. Lots of different stuff to do. Lots of different upgrades to go over. I'm not exactly sure how much I'm going to get into in this video versus the next one. But I think I'm going to go ahead and call it here. This is Asher with Renowned Explorers International Society. We got a lot of gold, a lot of status, and very, very little research. So there's probably some stuff I'm doing wrong. For those of you more familiar with the game, please tell me. I'm always looking to improve. Otherwise, hope you enjoy it, and I will see you all next time. Take care.